Well, he looks like a guy who tends to kill. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the TFC Toys Thousand Kills. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right up front here. We have some lovely artwork of Thousand Kills in his robot mode in his monster mode. Robot monster weapon and combine on this side of the box. We have the robot mode on this side of the box. We have the monster mode on the top. We have all the other modes, weapon mode, monster mode, robot mode, arm leg, things, stuff. On the bottom, warning, please don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. And on the back of the box, you have a nice piece of artwork of the combined mode of Poseidon, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card, with that same artwork there of thousand kills. And on the back, you have the tech specs. If that interests you, hooray for cards. So moving right along, here we have Thousand Kills, the final member of TFC Toys Poseidon. They're not Piranicon, and this is their take on Tentakill. And yeah, he's a pretty cool figure. Now, it's funny because I reviewed um, the last member uh, about six months ago. I think it was a long time ago. And since then, it's actually been funny to uh, see how many people did not know that the Seacons were a six-member team. A lot of people apparently did not know that. <laughs> Yeah, there are six of them, and he's the sixth member, and now we finally have the whole team, so yeah, here is Thousand Kills, and he is a, uh, he, he's a that thing, that's what he is, he is that thing, <laughs> that's how I'm going to describe him, I don't care what he actually is, I'm going to call him that thing, that is what he is to me, that thing, <laughs> but let's get in close here, so we can take a look at that face, look at that, look at that beautiful face, <laughs> But nicely done, nicely detailed, um, nice silver paints on the teeth. The teeth are kind of pointy and sharp, so do be careful with those because they can poke you. They can poke you good. Um, you have transparent plastic here for the eyes, some yellow, and that's a face that just says, Bleh! that's the only noise I hear coming out of this is, Bleh! anyway. But very nice paint scheme. Uh, where's your feet? Got some yellow there on the sides, on the back. Right there, and of course the tentacles. Each segment here does have a spike. And this one right here has a big spike on it. And yeah, he's he's a, he's a that thing. <laughs> anyway, now articulation wise, each of the tentacles is on a swivel at the base, a squeaky swivel, and you have a hinge that moves in and out, and each segment is on a swivel and a hinge that swings both ways. So you can go crazy with however you want to pose this guy, however you want to pose these tentacles. You can go nuts and pretty much pose them however you want, which is pretty cool. A lot of posability there. Um, and the legs are on a ratchet. They can move forward, can't really move back. They get stuck right there. Outward movements, you can do the splits there. Another squeaky joint. Um, there is a knee joint, but you do have to kind of extend the legs to get it to work. Just compress that back up. And he does have a toe joint there. And yeah, and you can open and close his mouth. This top part of the head is on a slider, so you can kind of open and close his mouth there. Just have him go right there. Although sometimes his head will, his face will split if you do that, but yeah. So, a ton of posability in the tentacles. Not much anywhere else, but a ton of posability in the, uh, in the tentacles there. So, there you have that. And for comparison, let's bring in the whole team. I don't know if we can get them all in frame, but I am going to try. Let's bring in the turtle, evil goldfish, Mr. Sharkman. I don't know if I can get all these guys in the shot. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. Probably not. We're gonna try. That guy. We got that guy. So there we go. We got all the guys. There you go. There you have the whole team. There are your Seacons right there. <laughs> and a nice looking set. Definitely a nice looking set right there. So. There you go. Reunited and it feels so good. Let's get these guys out the way. And last but not least, here he is with the G1 Tentacle because it's pressure 
Ghostbusters Tentacle Killing Pressure. Now, as far as accessories goes, he does include his guns. You have two guns right here, done in that nice blue. Uh, even the guns have tentacles on them, <laughs> which is kind of funny. They're done in a transclear and plastic, and you can open them up and flip out the barrel right there and flip down the handle. That's for robot mode, but you can flip out the handle. The greatest of ease. There you go. Flip out the handle. And there you have the guns. And you can store these in his monster mode. You just uh, flip the handle back in and you just turn them around and you have these two tabs right here which will tab into this center slot right there. So you can just take that and just plug that in and plug that in like that. And there you have the guns stored in his monster mode. So, you got that going on. So, we'll just remove those for now. And another piece you get is this little block of stuff here. <laughs> this is really meant for combined mode more than anything, but it does serve a purpose for him in one of his modes anyway. But yeah, you can see it's just a bunch of parts just kind of tabbed together. It has teeth. Everything has teeth on the set. No matter what it is, it has to have teeth. So, yeah, done in silver with the transparent plastic, some nice silver there as well. And one thing you can do with this is you can take the uh, gun handle here and you can just slide it into either of these slots. And the combined mode can hold this as a gun. So that's one purpose that this serves, to be another gun for combined mode, a big double-barreled blaster. So you can use it that way if you want to, but as I said, it does have other uses, and we'll get more into that when we actually do the combination video. It only serves one real purpose for this guy in uh, one of his modes anyway, so. We'll get more into that as we get through the transformations. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Now, one thing I'm going to do, because it makes life so much easier, is I'm going to actually pop the tentacles off of him. And uh, they come detached in the package and they're just on a tab, you just pull them right out and put them off to the side. Um, it just makes life a lot easier because as you're going through the transformations, if you keep the tentacles on, they just get in the way. So this makes life easier to just pop them off. Also, the instructions tell you for, uh, for gun mode, for leg mode, and for arm mode to actually remove two sections from each tentacle and that will shorten them up when you're going into the other modes to kind of make things a bit more compact. So for each tentacle, if you want to, uh, remove two sections of the tentacle. But for right now, I'm going to remove the tentacles completely just to make life easier, so I will be right back. All right, so we got the tentacles off and now life will be so much easier. So let's get started with the transformation. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come here to these sections here and just untab that. You just have a tab that goes right in there and this tab just goes into that notch right there. Just like that, swing that to the back, untab that, swing that to the back. This section right here, you just want to untap from the side. It doesn't really tab in that securely. You can see that slot is pretty shallow. It just kind of pushes itself out, but untab that and just take this bit here, swing that back. And you have that going on. On top, swing that back, and there you go. So now you want to come here and you want to split his face in half, like that. And as you can see, these halves of the faces are on sliders. You just want to slide it down until it lines up with this groove right here, and then you can bring that all the way back like that. And just swing, swing that down, line that up, bring that back. Then you want to come up here to the forehead, and these panels right here are on the double hinge. Just take them and bring them up like that. And take that and bring them. Come on. Come on. Work with me, man. Work with me, man. Work with me, man. Work with me, man. There you go. You work with me. You work with me. I just had to scream at him a little bit. There you go. <laughs> bring those panels up like that. Come back here. These sections just... Go on to those tabs right there. These are very sharp and pointy. Be careful with those. Uh, this section right here, just bring this down. Take this whole section, just push that in like that. And we can just kind of bring that down for now. So now we're going to uh, come back here to the feet and just untab them. Just tab in, tab in, 
to that slot right there, the center slot. So untab the feet, uh, come up here, undo this section right here, just bring that up like so. And what you're going to do here is you're going to extend the body right there like that and rotate it at the waist. You're not rotating it at this hinge, you're rotating it at that one right there. So rotate the entire body like that. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take the legs and you're going to bring them up so these tabs line up with these slots right here on the robot mode chest. And you can just push the legs down. Luckily you don't have to actually undo the legs to do all this, which is quite nice and convenient. And you just get that all lined up right there and right there like that. And these panels are on a double hinge and you have two tabs and two slots right there. Just make sure you have all that lined up and that will tab in right there. And right there, like that, and lock all that in place. Just make sure those stay put, like that. These little spikes right here, you just take them and just kind of fold them in like that. Uh, and then at this point, we're going to take this section here, and we're going to take these little sections, and these are on a double hinge, just bring them up. You want to rotate them, and this tab right here will go into that slot right there. So just line that up, push that in, bring that up, rotate it, push that in like that. And then you're gonna bring this up and these two tabs are gonna go into these notches right there where my fingernail is, just one on either side. So you just line that up, push that in, line that up and push that in like that. So once you have all that going, we can now work on the legs here. So you want to untab these sections here. Oh, you want to, <laughs> this is locked in here because the chest panel is still in place. So untab the chest panel and bring that down like that. You can see that tabs in right there. And now that you've done that, you can now undo the legs, the beast mode legs and the robot mode arms is what these are and you swing this down, this will come up on that very squeaky hinge. You're going to rotate the leg at the swivel right here, and you have this tab which will go into that slot right there. Just tab that in with that. Same thing on the other side, just do that. This one's tight. And just swing that around, work that up, squeaky, squeaky. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. And <laughs> turn that around. You want to extend this one just a little bit here because you need to. Just extend that leg, not all the way, just a little bit. That's a little bit, a smidge, just a dollop. And bring that down and what's gonna happen is that these are gonna hook together right here. So just line that up and they will Hook together. Of course, now wants to fight me. There you go. Hook together like that. Get that pegged back on. And this side will tab in right there. And all that is locked in place right there. Now, for these sections here with the tentacles, you just bring them out on this hinge here. You want to rotate this section right here. Spin that around. That'll lock in place right there. And this will just go into that notch right there. Just line that up and tab that in like that. Then do the other side. Do it on a slider so you want to slide them forward. Bring them out. Swing this around like that. Bring it down. Boop. Bring it down. Boop. There you go. <laughs> sometimes you have to say it twice for it to work. You know, sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. So, got all that tabbed in. Oh, that side came out. How dare you? How dare you? And there you go. And the last thing you want to do is just come down here and just split this section enough that you can get this little connector piece in and just wedge that in there like that. Like so, put that down. 
And there you pretty much have the leg mode. And now we'll just bring in a foot and just line up the posts on the pots. Plug that on. And there you have a thousand kills in his leg mode. Now I'm going to put the tentacles back on so we can get the whole look here. So I'll be right back. Bam! Okay, so there are the tentacles reattached. And this is basically how the instructions want you to orient them. And again, you want to, if you want to, uh, remove two sections from each tentacle. And that allows everything to just kind of compact a bit better. So see how that works out. Now, this piece right here does also uh, incorporate into the leg mode. We will get into that when we get to the combined mode video, but you can use this for the leg mode as well, but we'll show that off more when we get to that video. But this is just the base uh, leg mode right there. So there you go, leg modes, yay for leg mode. So I'm going to pop these tentacles back off and we will continue on. Bazinga, okay, so we have detentacalized him again. So now we will remove the foot. So I'm not gonna need that. And now we are going to go into gun mode. So to go into gun mode again, you just want to undo the tentacles there. Get them up, gotta get them out of your way. You want to untab these sections here. Just bring them down for now. Um, untab the feet. Like that. You want to untab the arms slash legs from the back there. Get them up, split them. Split them, there we go, split them, <laughs> like that. And just swing this around, plug these back in where they were, right there. Swing that around, put that right back in where it was, like that. And these panels right here, just untab, and return them back to their original configuration. And swing that around, like that. Untab all that. Bring this down, and now we can continue. So now, what we're going to do is we are going to just uh, bring the legs down. We're going to extend the legs through these hinges right in here. And luckily, if you if you just pull on the body, you can work those ratchets without actually having to take the legs apart to unfold the legs and fold them back up. Just give them a tug, and those legs will just extend on their own on those ratchets there. And once you get them to about that point, these tabs right here will go into these slots right there, those center slots. So, I think we got that all lined up just right. I think we did. Yes, we did. Woo! There you go. And they will just tab in right there like that. So once you have that done, you are going to just take these panels. You can just bring these back up and then rotate the body here to its original position. So just spin that back around like that. And then just compress the body back down like that until it clicks into place like so. And once you've done that, you want to extend the arms slash legs here, rotate them around, and you want to bring them up on a double hinge, just bring them up, and that will just tab into that notch right there. Just line that up, line that up, line it up. It's not lined up. Why aren't you lined up? Get lined up, man. Get, get lined up, there you go. Line that up like that, do the same thing on the other side. Extend, rotate. That lined up just fine, right there. Uh, you do want to kind of bring the arms out like that, just get them out of the way so you can take these tentacle portions here. And act yeah, actually we're leaving them forward like that. There you, go. you want to rotate them to the forefront, like so. And then you can, oops, hey, stay there. And just bring that squeaky, 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 squeaky. And Get these arms back up into position and rotate them back up. These sections right here, you just want to swing in. That swing in again, get those tentacles out of the way. That and these will just tap together right there, like so. And you're going to bend them down at that hinge right here, which is also tight hinge right there. And then we take the gun handle and use that to 
to help us get this connector down because this is really, really tight. There you go. And then you can just take this in, slot that in, bring that down the rest of the way, like that. And last but not least, we take the two guns and they will slot together like that. Make sure that post is in the center. And that will just plug in right there. And there you have the gun mount. And I'm gonna pop the tentacles back on so we can get a look at the full effect here. Boom shakalaka! Okay, so there we have the tentacles reattached again with two, uh, two sections removed, so they're a little bit shorter. And you can see that's roundabouts how the instructions want you to have the tentacles oriented there. For gun mode, of course, you can do whatever you want with them, but that's how the instructions tell you to have everything oriented. Now, you can use the foot stand if you want to for the gun mode, but that is where this comes into play because this can serve as a stand for the gun mode as well. So what you do here is you take these side panels here and you just pop these off, these little side sections, pop these off and you put them off to the side and that is what holds these two bits together right here. So what you do is you just raise up these little tabs you take this and you split it down the middle, you just fold it back that will just fold in right there, like that. Fold in, and then this will just tab into the slot right there to lock that in place. And then this section right here, you just bring up on that hinge. These little spiky bits, you just flip out. You also flip these out as well. And you're just going to tab the two sections together right there, like that. And there you have a new stand for the gun mode. So you just split this down the middle and the gun handle just tabs in right there. Close it up and voila, there you have a stand for the gun. So that's pretty cool. You can use that if you want to. And for comparison, here he is with the G1 Tentacle in his gun mode. So there you go. Just precious weird looking guns. Oh, but anyway. So there you have that, now you have the gun mode. So now we will move on to arm mode. So let's put this off to the side because we don't need that no more. Uh, we'll just remove this handle here because we don't need that. And uh, I'm not gonna remove the tentacles for this transformation because there's not a whole lot to do transformation wise to go from gun into arm mode. So just remove the guns. Put those off to the side. You're just going to extend the body right there. There's your elbow joint. You just want to rotate it so it's oriented properly. And again, the tentacles, you can kind of do what you want. The instructions actually just have them like sticking straight back. You can do that if you want to. Of course, you can orient them however you want because you have a ton of joints there. But once you have that done, uh, you want to take this section here. It's on double hinge. Just want to take that and just bring that down, bring that back over top. And we just want to uh, well, flip that up first. And that will allow us to then split open this section and get this out. If we can. There we go. And then we'll bring in our combined mode hand. Just bring that down a little bit so we can just kind of feed it through this gap here and just get that plugged in and closed up and just close that down like that there you go again you can do that without having to split open everything which is nice and just turn that hand around and booyah they have the arm mode that's it <laughs> Very easy transition from gun mode to arm mode. So there is the arm mode. It looks like an arm. Again, you can do whatever you want with the tentacles. But yeah, there you have his arm mode right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So last but not least, let's get down to robot mode. A. So what we're gonna do, is going to remove the hand here. Now at this point you do want to open up everything here. So we will do so. So just split this, split this right here. 
and we'll just open all this up and we can just flip that up and split the legs, remove the fists, put it off the side because we don't need it anymore. And then just take these spikes, just get them out. Again, be careful with them. They're pointy, they're sharp. And untap the feet if they haven't untapped themselves. And fold the leg down. You want to come here, just take the foot and just bring it out. So panel right here, just bring that up on that double hinge like that. And what you're going to do here is this assembly is going to come down on that hinge that will come up and you will just bring this in that'll clip in right here and you have this triangular tab right there which will go into that slot right there just clip that in and just line that up and that will clip in right there this section just make sure it's up on that hinge and in this section you just want to bring down and out like that to form the heel spur and there you have a leg all done. Second verse, much like the first. Bring that leg down. Bring out the foot. Bring that down, bring that up. Clip that in. Line that up. Tab that in. Bring this little panel up. Right there. Make sure that's up. Flip out the heel. And there you got the legs all done. So at this point now, you just want to rotate that waist piece right there so everything's aligned properly. And just collapse the body back down. And <laughs> he has all those arms that are just reaching out. They're reaching out for you. They're reaching out for you because they love you. They just want a hug. But anyway, just get these up and out of the way for now. <laughs> and just bring the arm down. Come in here. Flip out the hands. There you got an arm all done. Flip down, flip out, arms are all done. Get them situated here. Yeah. And now you're just going to split the tentacles. Again, you do want to bring the shoulders down. Squeaky, squeaky, just so you can swing these back. Squeaky, squeaky. Bring that back. Squeaky, squeaky. That's not one, that was not so squeaky, squeaky. That one's, that's really squeaky. That will haunt your dreams for the rest of your life. Also, we want to do, uh, we, we do want to uh, get this combiner port back up to its original position. So just use the handle there. It helps a great deal. Just get that uh, pushed back up. That's a very tight ratchet, jeez. And once you do that, uh, these sections here of the tentacles do swing around and we'll lock into place. Swing around. Lock into place, and they will just tap together. They're reaching out for you because they love you. Anyway, just tab those together. <laughs> you see, right there. And at this point now, you just slide them forward on those sliders like that. Make sure this section right here um, stays straight like that. And now uh, you want to just take this chest panel here, bring it up. There's a panel right here. You want to flip it down and then you can bring this around and you can then get a hold of this and flip it up the rest of the way like that. And you just got to come in here and you just got to grab a hold of his head and push it up. Bring this panel down. Make sure it gets tucked under his chin as you're bringing this whole assembly down. Like that. Oh, I think at the other side. There we go. That just sits right there. And of course, the tentacles. You can do whatever you want with. But for the most part, the instruction is just going to have them, you know, just kind of splayed out here and these kind of folded down against his back like that. Of course, these are the shortened versions of the tentacles, but you get the idea. But there you have Thousand Kills in his robot mode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get his tentacles back to full length here so we can get the full effect again. So I will be right back. Nice one, yeah! Anyway, so we got him back to full tentaculiness there. So we got all the tentacles back at full length. And there you have the complete robot mode and looks very cool very nicely designed although for some reason he doesn't oh there we go i didn't have his heels 
properly done there. But yeah, he looks cool. He looks cool. I dig him. So let's get in close here on that head sculpt. He doesn't look happy. He's a grumpy puss. He's a grumpy, grumpy puss. Look at him. But uh, very nice light piping, as you can see. Works very, very well. He's just, he just, he's having a bad day. But nicely done. Got some silver there on the chest. You got some of that transparent plastic right there. I got a little bit of a little pink blemish going on there. That's all right. Battle damage. That's all battle damage. But overall, nice color scheme. Got the trans clearance knee spikes right there, which again are quite pointy. So be careful with those because you can legit stab yourself with those. There you got some of that trans clearance plastic there on the feet. And the back here. Just a whole lot of tentacles going on. But yeah. Very, very cool design, in my opinion, anyway. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You can get some good wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. He can look up. He can look down. Pull 360. Uh, the arms run a ratchet joint. Get the tentacles out of the way. They can do a full 360. Can go in and out. Squeaky, squeaky. And again, you have that joint as well. If you need it, uh, you do have a bicep swivel. You do have a double jointed elbow, so you get a nice range of movements there. You have a wrist swivel. You have a waist swivel. Legs can go forward that far on the ratchets, back that far outward. You can do the full splits. It does have a thigh swivel. You do have a knee joint with 90 degrees of a bend. The legs are a little bit annoying because you're you're messing with this joint as well. So when you're trying to bend the knee joint, that joint might go with it. So you kind of have to make sure you hold that one joint steady while you're bending the knee there. Otherwise, you're going to bend that joint when you don't want to. So that's a little annoying. Wish that would have like locked in somewhere. And the feet are on a hinge and a ball joint. So you can move them up. And you do have some tiltage in there. If you have the foot oriented right, you have full tiltage there. Up and down. And the heel as well is on a post as well as a ball joint. You can kind of orient that how you want to help him stand properly. So there we go. And the tentacles can make him a little back heavy. So you want to make sure you have everything oriented just right as far as his feet and his legs go. And again, the tentacles have all those joints there. You can do whatever you want with them. So... And of course, you can have him holding his weapons. You're gonna split the guns here. Flip out the handles, flip out the handles, and just plug them into his hands. He does hold them nice and secure like. There he is, all armed up and ready to go. So, there you have that, so there you go. And now for comparison, here he is with G1. Tend to kill because it's so pressure. Start killing pressure. Ooh. And now, finally, finally, after months and months and months, we can finally get the whole team together. Can I get the whole team together? I don't know. A lot of dudes here. We'll try. There you go. Wrap your arms around your friend there. See if we can get them all in shot. I don't know if we can. We're going to give it a try. We're going to give it the good old college try, even though I didn't go to college. But, hey, stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Anyway. <laughs> My academic failures aside. <laughs> there we go. That. And we'll take Mr. Turtle Man here, put him in the back. And there you have your Seacons at long last. The whole team is now together. And a very nice looking set of figures, in my opinion anyway. I think they look really, really cool together. So, yay! We got the team! So there you go. We have finally reached the home stretch here. And in the next video, we're finally going to take all these dudes, slap them together, and form Poseidon. So stay tuned or stay subscribed for that. And yeah, there you go. So there you have 1,000 kills. I like him. I think he's pretty cool. So 
Uh, yeah, go. So if you would like this or any of TFC's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStory.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Poseidon playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all the good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the TFC Toys 1000 Kills, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pour me in your face! So, um, did Shockwave create you too? Ah, me? No, 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 I'm just visiting. Oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. So you're just gonna sit there with your arms around me the whole time like this? Why? D does it bother you? No, no, I never said that. It's kinda cozy, actually. You tell no one of this!